What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode. This is episode 10 of the Hardcore Chronicles. I am your host, Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. We actually uh, just finished up everything down here in the uh, East Mall. I finished up uh, the Air and Space Museum. I guess that was the last mission we just did. I'm going to run down here. I think it's to the Ring safe house. Um, and we're going to run over to this uh, other settlement over here, the castle. And uh, we'll go through all the cutscenes and everything over here. So uh, welcome back. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Uh, we're up to a rank 9. Uh, I want to be an 11 uh, before I go down and do Jefferson Plaza, which I believe is a 12. So I do need to rank up a little bit in the open world, which is probably what we're going to be doing right now. Avoiding the side missions. Remember, side missions scale to your character, so I want those for later in my playthroughs. Once I finish up all the main missions, I can start to uh, gobble up those side missions, and those are worth a lot of XP when you uh, get up closer to your level 30 cap. So that's what we're going for. So still rocking the M1A. Uh, I am uh, with also a stoner LMG pretty much running the, the weapons naked right now just got some really basic mods and when I say basic I mean really basic we're talking like an accuracy uh, accuracy optic and uh, maybe some reload speed mods on the uh, on the mags but that's about it so taking our time concentrating on DP uh, not DPS excuse me concentrating on armor we're concentrating on health uh, grabbing all the mats that I can See, can I give them Anyone something? Um, nope, not them. Oh, give 30 components. There we go. Hey, double barrel shoddy. Nice. Not exactly my cup of tea for PvE. Uh, that is not the sidearm double barrel. That would be the sawed off. Uh, that's the uh, the long barrel. That's the primary weapon version of it. I'm not real big on those. Devastating and close, but uh, not much more than that. And since I'm trying to avoid... Uh, dying because it's a hardcore playthrough. Duh. Uh, so we're going for mid range. So, mid range for me right now is an LMG because I do have a little bit of LMG damage on the gloves. And uh, we've got the M1A for the mid range. Here we are at the castle. Of course, it gets bombed by the True Sons, uh, dropping DC 62 all over the place and pretty much wipes out everyone in this compound. For those of you who've never seen this, so. Yeah, that's what the craters are with the smoking green stuff and yellow stuff coming out of them. All right, let's go ahead and run on in. There's a cutscene that we have to go through in here. Of course, I always shut up for the cutscenes so you can watch these. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Mortar attack. Target is Chemical. Seven survivors. Yes, Manny. Seven total. The sheriff just came in. Can you get these people to safety? I'm gonna go kill the bastards that did this. You're safe now. I promise. The attack came from Jefferson Plaza. You know what to do. Hey! Kill them all. All right, so a uh, cutscene is over. I've actually uh, transported back here to the uh, base of operations, the White House, picked up a bunch of the comms on the way, and we're going to head over to the campus settlement, which is about half a K uh, west of us. So we'll just run our way over here. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to meet up with Henry Hayes, uh, leader of the campus settlement, and we'll pick up a bunch of new missions, etc., etc. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these playthroughs. Uh, unfortunately, when it comes to uh, these and the... The fact that I'm trying to do this all solo, I do need to level up just a little bit in the open world. Uh, so I have to take my time out here while avoiding the side missions um, to grab as much XP as I can, uh, but in a most efficient manner. And that doesn't mean just open combat with red bars on the street because they're virtually worth nothing to me. Uh, so these, these bigger chunks that I can pick up is what I have to concentrate on. So downtown west, we just unlocked it. Let's head on over and meet up with Henry Hayes over here at the campus settlement. Hostile broadcast. And the open world looks really great. I don't know if I mentioned it, uh, or at least I, I try to mention it in every single uh, episode that I've been recording so far. I do play on PC, 
uh, and 2560 by 1440 I do record and render in that as well in full ultra so if your monitor or whatever you're watching this video if you happen to be watching this video uh, whatever it supports go ahead and crank it up as long as your ISP can <laughs> give you the bit rate that's uh, required for it so yeah I play essentially in 2k is what I play in uh, and the game looks absolutely phenomenal like I said I do have everything cranked up to the absolute max, even stuff that gobbles up uh, GPU, like uh, volumetric fog and things like that. I have them all maxed out. So we're almost over here to the campus. I'm still going to try and avoid combat. Rats running everywhere. Would have appreciated some uh, variance in weather. I know every now and then it storms, but uh, I think that's a big component that was missing from the first game to the second. It's just so bright and sunny now that um, it doesn't give you that feeling of... of just bitter solitude. These guys are dangerous. Got to watch out for them. Um, those garbage can lids they have are, are apparently uh, made out of unobtainium. But uh, more importantly, they've got arrows and things like that. And they can throw knives. Uh, and they, they're just generally not easy to deal with. They're fast. Um, and they're pretty silent. They don't run around making a big racket. So... Every now and then, uh, if I'm not paying attention, I can get sandwiched by a group of them. Like if I'm taking on some hyenas and in the front of me, uh, those guys will come running up from behind. you got to really pay attention to them because they can do a lot of damage in short order. All right, so here we are, the campus settlement. So we got to talk to Henry Hayes. Uh, we'll make our way into here. I think there's a comm. I hear it back to the right. Yep, there it is. Let me grab it real quickly. There's comms all over this place. Uh, but we're going to try and meet up with Henry Hayes. I'll shut up during that cutscene as well. Um, but yeah, here we are. The campus settlement. we got to help them rebuild this place into something a little more substantial. I like the fact that we help, uh, help these out. Um, I wish there was something more. Like maybe these settlements grew and... And, and you know, like the missions would grow with them, not just this this first volley of missions that we go through, and then all of a sudden we upgrade the place and it's done. I you know I wish you know something would break and we'd have to go out and source you know parts for it later on in our in our playthroughs and everything. But here's Henry Hayes. We're barely hanging on. It's hard to motivate people to fight for their lives when their lives aren't worth fighting for. Good to meet you. Henry Hayes. Look, I sympathize, Henry. But we have our own problems, and they are big problems. Maybe we can help. I know you need people. You keep telling me you can't spare anyone. Not right now, but if you guys can take some pressure off of us. We are already doing what we can. Are you? Because outside those walls, it's perdition. We let our guard down just for a second, and it's over. All of this, whatever you're doing out there, we're not feeling it in here. Well, Sheriff, I hope you're ready for some extra work. All right, so we're back. Um, I went ahead and ran around uh, the, the campus settlement over there, grabbed up as many of the comms as I could, and I've actually fast-traveled back over here to the Viewpoint Museum because I want to go into the DZ and uh, get this, uh, I guess, tutorial mission off the screen. So we're going to make our way over to the DZ. We're going to run through the DZ. I remember the first time I got to do this, I was up at Red Storm in December of 18... Was it 18? Yeah, December of 18, and uh, we had to do this first intro mission as a squad, and then we also did uh, PvP at that point. So it was interesting seeing this at the first, the first go. Let me just reload this thing really quickly. I'm gonna mess with the the drone. Goodbye. So we'll make our way over it here. Of course, we didn't have to make this run uh, when we uh, did it up at Red Storm which is up in North Carolina, by the way. Um, they basically started us off right up at the gate, which I'm heading at, and then we made our way into there, and then we did uh, we did some DZ PvP. Uh, we went rogue and continu continually stayed rogue. rogue excuse me. Uh, I did have Amper on my squad, and he is a rogueaholic. Uh, so we uh, we ran around the place and had pretty much our, uh, our run of the place. So there was no one that could really match us for PvP when we did that. It was a lot of fun. And then we did some uh, skirmish. We did skirmish on several of the different maps. 
Uh, we did uh, probably my favorite was uh, DC Ruins. That was pretty cool when we did it. So make our way over here. Look at that. Just kicked the ball. Smoke is coming out of the ball. I guess it's meant to be dust, but it looks like steam. Detective All right, so over here is the entrance to the DZ. So I know I'm going to be picking up DZ rank while I'm in here, but if I can get this mission uh, wiped out, which is what I want to do, uh, I can pick up some XP for it. Ultimately, I think uh, total time in the DZ to finish this off takes like uh, maybe 10 minutes. So it's pretty efficient. All right, let's make our way into here. There we go. Gray M1911. As soon as you run in over here to DZ East, if you continue on this left wall, eventually you're going to get to a uh, weapons chest. Uh, I believe it's this one. I think it's the next one. There it is, glowing. Uh, I found this. Here we go. Up. Oh, here we go. Level 9 Blue Stoner LMG. So we'll equip that before we go in there. Let me mod it up just very quickly. Let's see. There's the uh, T2. That's the accuracy, and we'll put on reload speed. You can't do anything uh, really much else with it right now, I'd say. And we'll just stay with the Magnum. So I'm going to go in um, and uh, finish up these to do with the DZ, and then we'll get back out, and we'll continue to run around, and we'll level up some more. So, okay, here's some more gear. Let's take a look at that really quickly. Mm, I may keep it. But right now I do have a specialized Alps chest piece that has hardened on it, which is kind of what I'm going for. So more, more armor and I do have uh, skill haste, which is great to get that turret back off cooldown even faster. All right, so we're going to attempt to get over here and we're going to take on the solar farm point uh, this should net me a decent amount of XP which I'm farming for right now I'm almost a 10 uh, I'd like to be an 11 before I hit uh, Jefferson Plaza but I may attempt it as like a 10 and a half uh, I'm dealing enough damage and I'm healing fast enough that I can handle it but uh, control points hit or miss solar farms got a ton of mats at it so if you're looking for real resources and you don't know uh, where solar farm is on your map uh you need to be over here at solar farm because there are mats everywhere guys over here doing push-ups here's a grenade guys and oh yeah two of three got them all right so let's get in on solar farm uh this could be hit or miss sometimes i you know even on my world tier five character with you know hellacious amounts of skill power and explosive damage and everything it gets a little wild at times um, I think I'm going to go back. Yeah, I'll go back to this. Uh, I want as much armor as possible when I go in here. We'll pick up the mats. Uh, we'll get in on these boys and see if we can light their, their world up as quickly as possible. I'm not going for, you know, world record speed run on this thing, but I am going for perfect, which is what you're trying to go for. Uh, let's get the turret up here. Uh, we're going for perfect, of course, for hardcore. Uh, we'll let the turret work him as much as possible. Obviously, anything uh, beyond a red bar is going to be a priority. Or like a medic. Uh, shotgun rushers are priorities. So shotgun rushers, uh, anything throwing uh, explosives, and veterans and elites. Those are what we're looking for. And medics, of course. You never want those pesky medics. Those effing medics. Those are the worst. I blame Thylander for putting medics in the game. I mean, how could we? Just kidding. Just kidding. Alright, get another grenade in. Why not, right? Pick these things up all the time. Alright, so there we go. There's an elite down there. Let's get to an area where we can control our engagements a little bit better. So we're using cover as much as possible. Turret will lay into them a little bit. Alright, that elite's going to have to come to me. There we go. Don't stand out there and take it. There we go. Got his pouch. I'm going to lay into him here in a second as soon as I reload. So this M1A is still hitting real hard. Look at that. That's all you got to do with those. All right. Veteran right above me. Um, yeah. So I'm going to push him with the stoner. Stoner light is about ass up. There we go. All right. So 
solar farm is completely done. I think that, yeah, that was the turret up there. It needed to die. All right, let's pull down our turret. Let's get set up for the next wave, because this is where it's going to get hairy. It always does when the reinforcements show up. So I want to find the best possible area. I'm going to pick up some mats, obviously. Well, a mat whore. Uh, I'm going to find the best possible area to take them on. Usually they come at you from the south, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so basically the direction my back is to right now. So I'm probably going to get up on this roof behind me and uh, try and use the height advantage on them. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, we'll see. We'll see, right? If I die, I die. I don't care. So this here. Oh, wow. They're already in the compound. Look at them. So let's put the turret right here on them. Yeah, you keep pushing me, buddy. All right, we got two of them. Yep. There they're coming from the south. Okay, so we're in a sandwich now. I got to be careful in here because, yeah, I need to get out of here. They're starting to shoot me from behind. All right, so let's drop down here. Watch out what's going from behind. At least the turret seems to be pretty resilient. It's able to attract a lot of their aggro, which is perfect. Take them out one at a time. Be patient. Patient, young Padawan. Patience. Taking all the sound cues I can. Let's see if I can... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Just blind fire him. There we go. Right, let's get the drone up. Oh, don't know exactly what hit me there. Damn. Let's be careful. We'll get up here. We're going to use cover again. Turret is still singing away. That's a positive. All right, shotgun rusher, that's one of the priorities. These guys, not so much. That's a grenadier. Need a little more, ooh, nice shooting there. All right, so that should be the boss coming around the corner there. Yep, there's the elite. Uh-oh, turret just hit me. That's the elite's turret that just got me. That's not good when they make you bleed. Luckily, I've got the drone to help me out. All right, most of the armor gone. Uh, it's getting a little hot over here. Yep, took another shot from the drone. Let me get the hell out of here. Not the drone, excuse me, the engineer's turret. Mm, I'm going to drop down here. This ought to work a little bit better. Yep. Had no idea I was there. Now the elite's turret can't hit me. Perfect. This is perfect. This is where I want to be. Look at this guy. He has no idea where he's being shot from. Don't worry. I know how he feels. <laughs> I've been in the DC before. I have no idea where you're being shot from. Goodbye to you. Perfect. Enemy neutral. Uh, enemy leader neutralized. Let's gra uh, grab any of the remaining mats we need to. Refresh that ammo. We're going to resupply this control Supply officer and we'll hit all of the other mats around the solar farm. There we go. We hit level 10. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, I appreciate you guys actually participating in my uh, movie quote trivia question the last time. And it, obviously, the, the quote was... Oh, and the quarterback is toast. And that was obviously from a Christmas favorite here in the States. I don't know why it's a Christmas favorite. It was Die Hard with Bruce Willis. So uh, congratulations to those of you that uh, answered that question correctly in the uh, comments section of episode 9 video. So uh, the quote that I'd like you to uh, tell me what movie this is from is from a, a classic movie uh, and the quote is well fine man put her in charge all right so I try to do it as faithfully as the actor did as well so the quote is well fine man put her in charge let me know if you know what movie that is from you get bonus points too if you can tell me who the actor is it is a male obviously so yeah, let's collect up some more mats. Let me know if you know what movie that is from and if you want bonus points, uh, get some extra. I'll throw you some extra thumbs ups and things like that in your comment if you can name the actor that actually voices that. So, I look forward to your responses in the video.
comment section. So yeah, we're going after this Shade Tech Cache down here. I'm trying to get four of them in this region for one of the uh, projects. Take out some of these boys pretty quickly. True Suns are not a, a real big uh, issue for me at this point. Their turrets are, however. But so far, this uh, this method to my madness of basically running around with an LMG, the stoner, I, yeah, I mean, it is an LMG. Uh, it's in the LMG category, but it's it's more of an assault rifle with a gigantic extended mag on it. And I'm running still running around with this M1A. Is The method to the madness is actually working out pretty well. So I got the turret to supplement my DPS, and I'm just concentrating on... I got his pack, good. I'm concentrating on as much uh, health and armor as I can stack onto the character. And then I'm using the turret to kind of supplement my loss in DPS, because I'm not really going after anything DPS-related uh, crit. Or, I mean, if I can get weapon damage later on, obviously, yeah, obviously, yeah. I mean, I'm going to put weapon damage on it. But, yeah. That seems to be working pretty well. We're at a 10. I'd like to said, like I said in, earlier on in this uh, playthrough, I want to be at an 11. By the time I go down to Jefferson Plaza, which is a 12, uh, that's basically the retribution mission uh, from the castle settlement where Kelso says, you know, go kill everybody that's responsible for this uh, this missile attack, the DC-62 missile attack on the castle settlement that kills everyone except for seven survivors. All right, so a Shade Tech cache down here. I can hear talking up above. I guess it's those uh, true sons up there doing their push-ups. I don't know if I want to disturb their workout. I mean, I hate getting disturbed in my workout, so... Might just leave them to their own devices up here. Let's see what we got. Uh, let me get back over here to the safe house. And we're going to go grab these uh, last couple uh, Shade Tech caches up north of the ring safe house. Um, I think the assignment for the project is get four in this region. So let's go grab the other three. Yeah, you can see there's basically a triangle, three of them. Can't wait to read. Ah. Words, man. Can't wait to read your responses to that movie quote. Remember the quote for the trivia question for this video is, Well, fine, man. Put her in charge. You got to say it like that, too, kind of sarcastically, if you want to get it correct. So let me know uh, what movie that is from, and if you want uh, extra bonus points. Oh, an open world boss, and I'm hopping things over here. Get over it, dummy. Here we go. An outcast boss. Elite named boss. Let's see if we can down him. So I'm looking forward to your responses. Let's get the hunter. Is that the hunter? Is that Matt Splinter Shield? Why are you getting roasted, buddy? I oh, I'm disappointed, Matt. That couldn't have been you. That was an imposter. That couldn't have been the real hunter. <laughs> Even your bodyguards are pretty paper thin. I don't know, man. Send everyone back to Hunter Training Academy. And everyone's dead. Yep, so uh, bonus points. God, what am I getting caught on? If you can name the actor that says that. Well, fine, man. Put her in charge. I look forward to that. So I think that is... I think that's my last Shade Tech cache that I needed to get. Or is it over here? This is the last one. Yeah, this is it. It's down here in this... Uh, God, I'm getting caught on all sorts of stuff here. This is janky. Maybe it's just me. I think I'm supposed to be able to get on that rock over there. Uh, it's down here in this culvert, this ditch. So we'll pick up this one, and then I think that would probably be a great place uh, to end this video. So I'll pick this one up. Uh, and then we are, we're what, 10 and 2 thirds right now? I'd like to be an 11 for Jefferson Plaza. So probably a great place to stop. If you haven't taken the time to smash that sub button, it'd be greatly appreciated. And while you're here, make sure to hit that bell icon to receive all notifications from my YouTube channel. Also, while you're here, if you could rate the video either with a thumbs up or thumbs down, that would also be appreciated. Uh, if you are interested in following me over on Twitter for all my things division related, all my tweets and posts and, and video comments and everything that I put up there. Uh, here is the Twitter link up on screen. Yeah, I got to get that pose in here at the end with Holy Arsonist. And yeah, I think we're going to end it there. Until episode 11, this is Buzz signing off.